Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nova Kranisa binti Muhammad Fazil from MSC 2202E. I'm recording this video to present to you about chapter 2 in course of Economy 415, which is Demand and Supply and related to palm oil in 2020 in Malaysia. 2020 is a challenging year for most industry in the world due to the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. However, the epidemic has a negative impact on the country's economy as the COVID-19 pandemic has hit global trade and investment at unprecedented speed and scale. So let me explain to you about determinants of demand and supply, which is cost and availability of palm oil production factors, second, changes in palm oil prices, third, technology level, and the last one is palm oil producers, expectation of palm oil of future prices. So first is about cost and availability of palm oil production factors. The role of palm oil in the oil and fat sector is very important because of its significant contribution to the balance of supply and demand of this sector. This has dominated the production, consumption and trade of oils and fats. In terms of production, the highest level of productivity makes it the largest producer of oil and in terms of demand, flexibility, techno-economic advantages, and nutritional value makes it a very widely used and traded oil. Without it, the world would suffer from a lot of oil and fat. In this case, palm oil can be considered to have fewer challenges and the demand side but has more challenges on the production side. Second, changes in palm oil prices. On 27 October 2020, according to the current price in cost of goods sold in CIMB predicted palm oil prices, for 2020 to be forecast at 2,500 ringgit per ton. In fact, it shows the price in 2020 which remains above 3,000 ringgit. So, they also estimate that if it continues to happen for the rest of the year, according to the Palm Oil 2020 price, large consumers will need a period of about 2,500 ringgit possibly an average of 2,600 ringgit to 2,650 ringgit. So third is about technology level. This is mean the approval given to supporting industries that are closely linked to the palm oil industry, such as transportation, mechanical, and oil analysis for machine repair works. This also helped in preventing the palm oil industry from deterioration. Fourth is palm oil producers' expectations of palm oil future prices. Palm oil analytics expects crude palm oil futures price for the whole of 2020 to be around 2,800 ringgit to 2,900 ringgit per ton. However, it can return to 3,000 ringgit if total production is lower in October and November. For the first quarter of 2021, the price is expected to be between 2,650 ringgit and 2,800 ringgit. Next, we can look at the predictions on oil pound production. They have two situations. First, Cost of goods sold in CIMB research has raised its 2020 crude palm oil price for cars to 2,500 ringgit from 2,300 ringgit per ton as the price released. Second, spot price 
climb to as high as 2,936 ringgit per ton on September 3rd from its year to date law of 2,021 ringgit per ton on May 12th. Based on the graph, it is projected that Malaysia farm oil production tends to experience slower growth in 2020 compared to 2019. Malaysia palm oil stocks will reach 1.9 million tons by the end of 2020 compared to 2 million tons in 2019. Palm oil stocks are one of the important variables that influence crude palm oil price movements. Basically, low stock will result in higher crude palm oil prices and vice versa. Let me explain to you the reason why palm oil prices are rising. In terms of supply, as a result of the COVID-19 outbreak, many organizations have been unable to carry out operations, especially when authorities implement RMO measures. This was due to concerns over tight global inventories as Indonesia's second quarter supply was below expectation. Cause and effect from demand and supply the cause of palm oil rising prices is first, the palm oil industry faced an initial supply shock, then a shocking demand due to the slow demand from importing countries due to the COVID-19 outbreak and also the delay of the B20 biodiesel mandate. So, the effect of palm oil prices rise is the demand curve for palm oil shows downward reflection. Second cause is movement control orders have disrupted normal upstream activities such as fertilization, harvesting, TPS, collection and manufacturing. So this results effect in a shortage of many power and logistical problems that will disrupt palm oil production. Third of the cause is the rising price has worsened the economic viability of biodiesel. This which may affect the fulfillment of B30 biodiesel program in Indonesia next year. So the last topic that I want to discuss is about various measures will be taken to maintain the momentum of growth and ensure the well-being of society. Although the economy is expected to remain resilient, there is a still risk of low growth prospects mainly due to the moderate growth of the global economy and trade activities as well as the volatility of financial and commodity markets. First is value chain enhancement through 5G and IR 4.0 technologies. Second, resumption of strategic projects. Third is promote industries with comparative advantages such as tourism and commodity. Disease related downstream activities are expected to support growth in the near term. In conclusion, the momentum of Malaysia's economic growth in 2019 and 2020 is expected to remain strong, supported by strong economic fundamentals and diversified economic structures despite increasing external environmental uncertainty. In domestic demand will drive growth with the external sector growing moderately due to the challenging global environment. And in household, spending will continue to be driven by stable labor market conditions and low inflation while investment activity will be supported by capacity expansion in the service and manufacturing sectors. I have finished the presentation on topic 2, which is related to palm oil in 2020 in Malaysia. I hope you enjoy it. Bye!